Let's take a minute to check out how we could submit a file to a Google Form digital Dropbox. Lots of people have a hard time going digital uh, simply because they have no way to access student work or they're just uncertain on how they can do it in a convenient fashion. So let's take a look. We're going to start with the iOS app GoodNotes 4. A similar process would be used for other apps as well. Um, we're going to just take a simple PDF file here. Uh, I call this a math task template. Um, just want to see what students know from this particular uh, task that we had done, this real world task. So we're going to click the export button and up will pop a screen. In other apps it might look a little bit different but I just want to make sure that I have the file format I'm looking for and I'm naming the file um, appropriately. From there, I'm going to select external apps. In other apps, this might say open in. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I share my iPads amongst multiple users. So more than one student uses this iPad. If I actually click one of the cloud storage apps under the linked cloud storage um, section near the bottom, that's going to keep them permanently logged in. And uh, you're going to have kids from multiple classes all uploading files to one student's account. So always external apps or the open in button at this point. I'm going to pick my cloud storage. In this case, it's going to be Google Drive because we're using a Google Form. It'll work quite nicely. So we'll, we'll select that app out of the list. We'll ensure that this is the correct account logged in. This is a convenient update recently that's been added. So it says to account Kyle Pierce at TecumsehVista.com. Um, that is my account, so I'm going to press save. If not, you'll click the switch accounts button. I typically will then click on the recent option which you can get in the top left corner there's three little bars give that a tap and select recent that'll show me my most recently uploaded files including the one we just uploaded and I'm going to then tap on the I icon which is going to give me file details or file information I'll just tap on get link and what that will do is copy the link to my clipboard and I can then access the Google form that I've created already. So whether you're using an LMS or Google Sites or any website, um, make sure your students know how to access that form. In my case, I use a, a Google spreadsheet and I'm going to tap on Digital Dropbox. You'll notice that I do have a form here. Um, this idea for a form digital Dropbox, um, I want to give credit to Alice Keeler. Um, I saw that she had done something like this on her website and it looked like a fabulous idea. So I uh, just created a simple form with a couple uh, fields including their name and uh, a place to paste the shared link. On an iPad you want to make sure you tap into the box first so the cursor appears and then tap and hold in order for the paste option to appear. I'll tap paste and then the long URL should appear from their Google Drive uh, account. Once they're done, uh, I usually add a couple things like a, a self-evaluation. I might add um, what learning goal this is um, or any other details you might uh, be interested to know from your students. And then they'll press submit and the students should receive a confirmation page like the one you see here. So for me, this is a great way to do it, uh, especially if you're not using any formal LMS. Um, I've tried many of them. I've used Google Classroom. I've tried iTunes U. I've tried uh, D2L. I've I've done quite a few of them. Um, I really like the simplicity uh, here and then all of the student links will then appear in a spreadsheet for me to uh, take a look at and assess to provide feedback.